Hey, this is a video exclusively exclusively for Outback Power Systems. Thanking them for um, having my good Outback GTFX 2524 during Hurricane Irene. Uh, show you a little about the system. My uh, power went out August 27th. 2011 at around 7 o'clock p.m. 70 mile an hour winds. I have my wind turbines up there. I had them locked down. I had the brakes on because this is too much wind. So we had 70 mile an hour winds. Here's my house. 1500 square foot rancher. I uh, got a hot tub and Another outbuilding with a deep freeze refrigerator out there in it. And there's my Honda E2000 that I kept, that I kept running at night during the hurricane. And sometimes during the day because I had to power my, uh, my deep freeze refrigerator. I didn't allow that on my, on my, uh, my setup, but oh well. But I just plugged my cord into there. From my um, from a generator and from my outback, when we're without power, to help charge the batteries at night. And I have a three-way transfer switch right here. Just Honda E2000 generator, Gen, and solar wind power. That's for the grid grid and that's when I, I would lose power that's off grid that's what it's a transfer switch and this is where I have my outback coming into inverter 30 amp breaker and outback inverter inside panel I got everything labeled Okay, let's go see the Outback. Yeah, but I only burnt 18 gallons of gas in that Honda uh, E2000i for 8 days and 8 nights. 18 gallons. While my neighbors were burning uh, probably uh, 20, 20 gallons a day in their big, big generators. But yeah, it's a good choice in the generator. And here's my system. My battery bank is underneath, uh, uh, is in there. I have six AGM batteries. And they kept my whole household running, except for my, my air conditioning and my hot water. But we had electricity, refrigerator, TVs, all the luxuries of life. There's my Outback GTFX, and there she is, and there's the mate, right there, the mate too, and all my other components, my wind, uh, wind diversion load, wind diversion, just from a wind turbine, so my battery bank won't get over overfilled. It takes care of the extra load. My other TriStar MPPT charge controller. And right now I'm putting out 410, 19 watts at it's about 8:45 in the morning. Doing really good. Kind of a hazy day today out there today. I got a DC off switch and everything's grounded but anyway thank y'all and I'll show you my my uh, sub panel inside the house I'll get ready but anyway that's how I got everything set up and thanks so much Outback Power for being uh, Helping us out during a hurricane. I mean, I know a lot of people had worse off things, but in a natural event, this is really helpful. 
but <clears throat> I go right here and here. I flip a switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Flip a switch is all I got to do. Uh, it's right here when I lose power. And run that refrigerator right there. Microwave. TV. DVD player. And everything in there. Even in the Xbox during a hurricane. All the lights you see here. Ceiling fans. And here is my load center. This is my load center. I just flip a switch. Bam. I'm on I'm on um I'm off the grid. Off the grid. Flip another switch. I'm off the grid. And this is a uh, Reliance uh gen startup. But we use it for electrician now, we use it for uh solar and everything. And it works pretty good. And now let's get back online. But that's how it works. Thanks, Outback. Y'all are great. Still are. All right. Thank y'all so much.